Hello, child of God. Do you have an intense interest in gardening? For some of us, that intense interest is almost an obsession. I think it's a gift from God. Almighty God is the Spirit who created mankind and put mankind into the Garden of Eden. Each evening, Almighty God would come and walk and talk with Adam and Eve in that garden. The Garden of Eden was a place where God would fellowship with his friends and where Adam and Eve would get to know God. Almighty God has not changed. He still wants to walk and talk with his creation in the garden. Growing plants and learning about the physical creation is a very enjoyable experience. But the greater and more exciting experience is walking with God and discussing your garden with Him. The easiest way I know of to properly align your greenhouse is with the sundial method. Install a round stick into the ground and make sure that it is standing vertically level above ground. Then visit the Weather Channel, www.weather.com, and search for your zip code or city location. Then you click the hourly weather tab and near the bottom of that page will be a picture similar to this one showing the solar noon for your location. At the exact time of your solar noon, mark the ground where the shadow falls. This is the angle the sun will be at solar noon all year. The sun will be lower in the sky all winter and the sun will be higher in the sky all summer, but it will always be at this angle at solar noon for that particular day. Draw a line at a right angle to your shadow line. This second line will likely give you the best angle for your greenhouse regarding the sun's location. The line you draw will be an east-west line. If you're standing on that line when the sun is setting on your right, then you are facing south. Aligning your greenhouse with the widest side facing south generally gives you the greatest amount of winter sun. If your location requires you to adjust the greenhouse to a different angle, adjust it to the southeast to catch as much springtime sun as possible. Your greenhouse should receive the maximum amount of winter sunlight available for your location. Now you must also consider the shadows cast by existing structures and trees and adjust your location east or west to your best advantage to avoid the wintertime shadows. And also, you may want to grow apple trees or some other kind of deciduous tree that will shade your greenhouse in the summer and then lose the leaves in the winter and allow the winter sun to come in. You may also consider engineering the angle of the roof for catching the maximum amount of sun's rays in the winter with the least amount of loss by reflection. The most important learning experience is talking with Almighty God in the greenhouse and learning to learn from his instructions. He's willing to fellowship and teach us. If we're willing to... For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart and I will be found of you, saith the Lord. Almighty God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Just ask him to join you in your garden and teach you to be a more successful gardener. Any subject at all. Almighty God is not only concerned with your sin and your money. He wants to be your friend and fellowship with you. Almighty God is looking for the opportunity to bless you. Peace be unto your house, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.